Hello and good morning. This is Stuart Payne on behalf of Reed 20 and the Reed Mobile. And today we're out on the porch on a uh, steamy summer morning. We're getting ready to discuss how to read with a toddler. You know, toddlers can be all over the place at any given moment, uh, so it can be a challenge to find the time to make these things work. But when you do find the time, it's very important that you uh, show your child that you care about books and stories and you care about them and you care about communicating with them. Books are a great tool to help you introduce words and ideas to your child. So uh, we're going to look at this one called No, David! And this is a classic by David Shannon. We see on the front our little hero about to destroy the fishbowl. When I'm using this book with a toddler, I will ask him, hey, what's going on in this picture? What's David doing here? And they usually get it. You know, he's about to pull the fishbowl off the table. I say, oh, that's not good, is it? What might happen? What, you know, this is your chance to get them thinking. Every time you ask a question and show them something, that's an opportunity to encourage uh, thought processes that lead toward conclusions about real world activity. Plus, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Anytime you can make it fun, you should make it fun. One thing I want to say before we begin this book is how useful this is in helping young people decode language. The title itself, No, David! contains a little bit of secret code here. You know, letters are symbols for sounds. And these sounds come together to make words. So when you're reading with your toddler, you're helping your child decode uh, language and words, starting with letters. This story repeats the phrase, no, David, over and over. And it gives your child a chance to practice those sounds. And in their brain, you're helping connect the sound to the written symbol. No has an N. Let's make the N sound. Mm, nah, no, 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 nay, nay, ni, ni, nu, nu, na, na. Repetition helps the child hear and understand and distinguish the various sounds of the letters. So this is a great help in decoding the basics of language. And David starts and ends with a D. Let's make this D sound. Da -da -da -dum, da -da -dum, da -dum, da -da -dum. David, do do, da da, da da, do dad. So repeating the sounds of the letters, singing the ABC song is a great way to reinforce the sounds of the different letters. So let's jump in. This is No, David, by David Shannon. First picture inside. The title page it shows uh, who is that? Who do you think that is? It's his mom. It's his teacher. It's his auntie. Whatever. Who asked the question? Let them think about who that might be, and then take a look at her. Is she happy? Yeah, you want to encourage your child to think about the feelings and the experiences of other people. Is she happy? No, I remember my mom getting mad at me and she'd be hands on the hips, Stuart Payne, da 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 da. Right. These things are helpful. And here I always ask, what's David doing wrong here? I mean, I've usually introduced the book as David is doing wrong things, he's getting in trouble. And his mom always tells him, no, David. So what's he doing wrong here? He's drawing on the walls. Yeah, would your mom be happy with you for drawing on the walls? Every little thing is an opportunity for interaction to question and to get your child thinking in certain ways about certain ideas that you can share. And this is what language is all about. Expressing your thoughts and ideas about what's happening around you. It's the most basic things that we do when we take it for granted, but these books help us to dial that in. So, no, David, she says. Oh, what's he doing wrong here? Well, if you look at it long enough, most kids will kind of figure out that he's after something up on top. That bright red thing with the bear head on it. Hmm, could that be the cookie jar? <laughs> yeah. And um, what's he standing on? 
Should we stand on chairs? Is that a good idea? Again, opportunities for interaction. Ask the question. If they say, oh, look at all the cool jars up there. We'll talk about the jars up there. Uh, use their instincts. Use the things that they dial in as your jumping off point for a teachable moment. This one says, no, David, no. What's he done wrong here? Hmm. Would your mom be happy? Would your dad be happy? Would your granny be happy if you tracked mud in on their white carpet? Probably not. What should he have done differently? He should have cleaned himself up first. Again, this is designed to be an interactive experience where you guide your child through the process of interpreting the information on the page. Oh, what's he doing here? He's taking a bath. Yeah, has anybody, uh, who likes to take a bath? Anybody got a rubber ducky? What is this thing? It's a shark. Okay, what's wrong in this picture? What's, what's he doing wrong here? Because his mama said, no, no, no. The water's overflowing into the floor. Oh, that can't be good, right? Or maybe this would be a chance to say, look, she said it three times. How many? How many times? three times and what does she say no 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 so what letter makes that mm sound mm. it's an n and what letter goes o well that o does and what if you put a n and an o together you get no and you've just decoded language at least those little bits of language all right what's going on here He's naked! Or, uh, did David forget something? What did he forget? I don't know, but his mama said, Come back here, David! Put some clothes on, dude! <laughs> Nobody wants to see your shiny hiney. Wordplay. Language. All right, what's happening here? Oh, would you like to, what, what kind of sound is David making? Bang, he's banging on the pots and pans with a spoon. Yeah, I guess that's why his mama said, David, be quiet. Or, shh, can anybody go, shh, because this is one of those little tricky sounds that you got to learn somewhere. Might as well start today, right? All right, what's happening here? This one is a little more complex. His mama says, don't play with your food. Okay, what kind of food is he playing with? It's a potato head. It's fried chicken. Uh, what are these? Are these his arms? What, what are they using for arms? These kinds of probing detail questions that guide your child to the material and make them uh, think about what they're seeing and then respond. This is where the magic begins. Oh my goodness. Looks like he's put every bit of food in his mouth all at the same time. Is that a good idea? No. Why not? Because you might choke on it. Little lessons, simple lessons, driven by a book and page for the picture. Oh, looks like David is not happy. Looks like he got sent to his room. Anybody ever get sent to your room? Anytime you can get them to identify with the character or to understand that other people will have the same experiences as you, well, that's a good thing. So once he's in his room, what did he do? He's jumping on the bed. Yeah, would your mom like it when you jump on a bed? And what's he wearing? It's a bandit mask. Cowboy boots. Yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, what color is that thing? Anybody got cowboy boots? And what's that all over his pajamas? Stars. Again, connecting the pictures and the ideas communicated in the pictures. Have that exchange with your toddler. Oh, no. 
when I see this, I usually say, every time I see this, I want to tell David, get a tissue. Because, you know, when you get a yucky nose, you can get a tissue and clean it up and throw it away. And then you don't have it on your fingers and when you're shaking hands. Again, I'm using a scenario that's driven by the picture to help my child understand what's being communicated here. All right, what's wrong here? He's got toys out everywhere. So yeah. Hey, anybody ever step on a Lego in your bare feet? Ouch. Yeah, if you've done that, you know it hurts. And that is a great reason to not leave your Legos out on the floor. So thought process, logical step-by-step -step understanding of this real life situation. And this is, this is almost uh, like a Rorschach test. Hey, if you were at David's house right now, what would you be playing with? The Frisbee. Ah, oh, no, a baseball bat. I love baseball. Anybody ever played baseball? Or what other, what other types of balls do you see here? A football. What color is this one over here? Oh, oh my goodness, what is that thing on top of the TV? Again, directing them to things and getting their response. And if they give you a response and want to talk about it, run with that. What's he watching on TV? It's a flying saucer. A what? What, what is that? Find out what they know. See what crazy and imaginative things they will come up with when you ask these open-ended questions. That's where the magic happens. All right. David's mom said, not in the house. Okay, what's she mean by that? What's he doing? What's he about to do? He's going to play baseball. Yeah, but in the house? What might go wrong if he hits that baseball in the house? What if? Question. Hmm. Mom says, I said no, David. Ooh, David's in timeout. Anybody ever get in timeout? Yeah. And what happened to Mama's flower vase? It got busted into a million pieces. Yeah. Is Mom going to be happy about that? No. But you know what she says? She says, David, come here. Yeah, you did some things that I don't like, but you know what? I do love you. <laughs> Kids hate it when you make that kissy sound. So use it. Show that you're okay with the kissy lovey thing, especially with your mama, right? Yes, David, I love you. And in spite of everything he's done to get in trouble, he still has the love of his mama, right? That's a win. So to sum it all up, I just want to remind you to read with your toddler. Engage with them over pictures and ideas and words and begin decoding the fundamentals of language. It's like a staircase. You take one step at a time. Before you know it, you're on top of the world. So uh, this has been Mr. Stewart on behalf of Read 20 and the Readmobile. So be sure to look for part two uh, for how to read with toddlers. It'll be on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, Read 20 Chattanooga. All right, thanks for tuning in. Have a great day.